Hey YouTube, thanks for joining me. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about this little guy here, deeper sonar, and how it's used for kayak fish. A little background, um, about six weeks ago, I received an email from Lithuania, from a gentleman from the Deeper Company asking me if I'd be interested in joining their group called Deeper Heroes. I checked out the uh, information and um, I'm already familiar with the device because it was a sonar solution I had looked into some time ago when I was looking for a fish finder for my kayak. Well, uh, I agreed and ex I'm excited to have, have joined the group. It is not a sponsorship for me. I am not sponsored by Deeper. I'm just making that clear. Deeper Heroes is sponsored by Deeper. So they, do, they make it a point, a uh, very specific point that they do not sponsor individuals. They sponsor the group. So this is a relationship that uh, I'm looking forward to building with this company. You're going to be seeing me using uh, this deeper sonar. I actually have the deeper pro plus. That's the, that's the model I'm, I'm using deeper pro plus, but, uh, you're going to be seeing me using it in many more of my fishing videos. Um, going to have it with me pretty much on every trip just because of the accessibility to casting sonar to different spots from where I'm fishing to, to look for fish to look for structure without having to paddle over it it's a huge advantage for kayak fishing you know how many feature videos I do on the product I don't know but you'll see me using it in my normal videos you're gonna be you'll, you'll see me casting it out or talking about it or saying making references to deeper saying oh I found these fish using deeper so you can look forward to seeing that my my main concern is getting information quality reliable information to you the viewers on this product uh, tips and tricks on how to use it the benefits for kayak fishing opening up discussion and ideas from people who who start using it and the best ways and best use practices for for using this to make to give everybody a better experience out on the water that's that's the goal that's the goal uh, I don't get any, like I said, I don't get any paid endorsements or anything like that. Um, Deeper Heroes did send me a very nice care package to get started. So um, I'm extremely grateful that they put some faith in me to, to get their product out there and to help educate the public on, on the benefits and how to use the product. Uh, it's a solid product. You can you can go to anyone who's reviewed this product over the last three years, and nobody has had really any negative negative things to say about this product, ex except for in the earlier stages there are some connectivity problems problems I have not had with the new version. Uh, I keep it attached to my kayak as I'm paddling. And even though it goes underwater and comes out with my paddle strokes and things like that, I don't lose connectivity. Um, it uses Wi-Fi now instead of Bluetooth, like some older versions. I think that has addressed a lot of the issues in, um, in the earlier versions of this product. <clears throat> but a very high quality made product, very durable. And uh, I look forward to featuring it in more of my videos in the future. So any comments or questions you have, please feel free to, to comment below and I will be more than happy to address them in open discussion uh, about any, any uh, tips or tricks or anything you wanna share about the product, it'd be great. But without any further ado, here are some video clips of me using it for the past month uh, and some different s scenarios and places uh, where I put it to use and had some success. So hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. Okay, although uh, this device Deeper was designed for shore fishermen, I believe, uh, originally, there's also been new research and development that have brought some other products to make it accessible for kayak fishermen. So we're going to talk about the benefits of that today um, because there's a lot of kayakers out there, I know because I was one of them, that needs a sonar solution 
that's wireless and this this com complete setup doesn't require you to have a battery installation uh, transducer wires where the transducer mounts gonna go it doesn't have any of those problems all you have to do screw your deeper onto this little mount see it put it in the water get it adjusted and away you go and that's it just hook it up to your phone and uh, I'll bring you some more of the features and stuff soon okay folks I'm using my new toy here deeper I don't know if you can see that I don't want to drop my phone in the water I don't know if you can see that but uh, I actually have it mounted right here see that the side of my kayak so as I move along it'll map the bottom for me or uh, work just like any other sonar now the cool thing about this since you know as you can see I have a a fish finder on this kayak I don't have to with deeper if I just want to put it on my kayak and have a sonar I don't have to have a battery a battery mount wires transducer wires battery wires all that stuff is gone all you do is hook it on or, or cast it out and use it I'm in an area right now that uh, we're trying to figure out where the fish are you know and uh, you know, when you got it's when you got a guy that's as good as Ramiro fishing, I usually just send him out, let him catch all the fish for me, and then show me where they are. But sometimes Ramiro's not with me, so I got to use a device like this. Isn't that right, Ramiro? You're about to see him catch one right here while I'm talking to you. You watch. No luck today. <laughs> so this is this is it um, mounted, hard mounted. All it is is clamped on. It takes two, maybe three seconds to twist the clamp and you have a fish finder on your boat. I can clamp it onto the seat or in this case I have it clamped onto the pole that's holding this camera. Um, I could have clamped it onto the handle if I wanted to I think. Um, I don't know if it goes that wide to be honest with you. But I could have clamped it on right here. I just didn't want it in the way of my paddle. But back here is perfect. And as I go along, if I just leave it on, it's going to map everywhere I go today, which I think is really cool. So, uh, little update on, on the deeper. I don't know if this shows you. I'm in one place, so it's not mapping yet, but as I move, it's going to make a map of this area. Then I'll be able to put this map over the map of Lake Weir on Google Maps. And it'll actually show contour and depth of everywhere I paddle along this this line that I fish all the time. So that'll be useful. Okay, folks. So here I am using my deeper sonar. As you can see, it's hooked up. Take a video. Sonar's working. That's all there is to it. All right, I'm going to cast it out. Claire's using bait today, so we're going to see if we can target some fish using the sonar and see if she can catch some. Okay, we want to check a spot for fish, so I just pull up the deeper, unscrew it. Clip it on my speed clip that I use for my other lure. We're going to just check it out real quick. And <laughs> made a big splash. That's okay, I'll just let it sit.
checking it out. little guy. Oh, you got that one really stuck in there, didn't you? So Claire just caught a bass right where the deeper said it was, seven foot down, right off the bank here. She threw a bait down and after a few minutes got a fish, a little bass. Good deal. Okay, folks, this has been a tough day for fishing. Uh, I'm at Beekman Lake now. I started out at little grasshopper lake in the Ocala National Forest. The only fish caught was by Claire uh, where he spotted it on the deeper and she was able to throw a minnow down at it and get a fish. Uh, first little bass of the day, not much happening today. 13 and a half inches. I'll hear it. Whew. Right here at Beekman Lake. See if I can get into some better ones. Now I'm going to use deeper. So I'm going to unplug it from, unscrew it from the arm. It's okay if you drop it because it floats. I have the wind to my back and I'm going to cast out in front of me and I'm going to look for fish. And the reason I did that is because uh, I found out this morning that when you cast deeper and you're reeling it in, it'll still coast and continue moving. So once you mark a fish, uh, if you're not, basically if, if there's no resistance on the deeper end keeping it in, in that same spot. You can't really use it as a marker. And that's what I want to do today is use deeper as a marker. So I'm going to cast it out and I'm going to, when I find fish, when I find fish, I'm going to cast around it and hopefully I'll catch something. suspending crankbait. Oh. Yeah, that's the size I've been looking for. Cute little one. Barely, probably a pound. Okay, I have to show off the lure of the day. This is the a little Yozuri suspending crankbait on a speed clip straight to braid. And uh that's what I caught all my fish with today. It's like the bite turned on after lunch. They really wanted this little crankbait and all size fish up to what, 16 and a quarter hit it. So I did lose a, had a big bite. I'm not sure how big the fish was, but had a really good bite, pulled drag and everything. But the hooks are so small, I don't think a big fish will get caught by it. So, uh, Maybe I should switch the hooks out to just the one size bigger at least. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time.